Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This is next in a series of the Batasira uh, guided build. Easy for me to say. Um, so yes, number four in the series. We've added quite a few systems so far. We're now going to add, what, roughly six more. Um, you can see on the screen at the moment, here's the uh, source I've, I've downloaded from those links that are provided in the description. Um, just to reiterate, they're not my links, they're links that I've, I found online. So yeah, um, they're there for to use, to use if, if you choose. Uh, if you do, this is this is how you do it. Uh, so basically, I've got my. If you've seen the other previous videos, I've got Batasira running on this Windows machine inside a, a virtual machine, so I can have the two side by side for ease. Um, so, like I said, I've got this running now. So if I just hit Enter, oh no, don't hit Enter. Hit the space bar, uh, bring up the menu, and I'm just going to check the IP. We're going to network settings. IP address is. Dot 97. So on my Windows machine, I'll just go start run. It's just off screen, but it looks like this. Start typing that address in. See, I've already got it in the list. And it'll bring you up a Windows share. So we go into here, find our ROMs folder, and here's all the folders for the system supported by my Batasira. The yeah, majority of these are going to be empty. Um, apart from a, an info text file, you can see there's, there's 180 folders, so there's quite a lot of systems supported. So like I say, these ones we're going to add today. So let's just go through one by one. Just so you can see, again, using 7-zip manager, I just find it, it's easier. It works well for me, so I'm just going to grab this. Do extract, and then in the list, should be from last time. So that folder is going directly into the ROMs folder. It shows you here kind of how it's how it's going to look just in case you're um, worried about it going into the wrong folder <clears throat> so it's going to extract it into there so let's just hit OK password is build exclamation mark I believe you know it's not cancel yep <laughs> let's try that again extract into here yes we're going to replace it's RB hyphen build. Exclamation mark. That's better. There we go. So yeah, a few of these files have slightly varying passwords. Like I say, out of my control. But there we go. So you may have seen on some of the other videos I've taken the, the folder and, and dragged and dropped it. Um, which works fine as well for extracting. Just means it basically does the copy twice, it copies to a temporary folder and then copies from there to the final destination so this takes a little bit longer um, using the extract button here on the toolbar does it all in one step so we just let this finish and then we check on our Amstrad CPC folder and there we go all the all the ROMs should be in the root of that folder and then you've got some subfold subfolders or directories for things like images and there's you know sort of the image the marquee the thumbnail picture I'll just change the view on this you'll see what I mean so we'll also we'll sort of have the logos etc and artwork and again same for videos there's a little the uh, you know 20 30 second video snaps of gameplay so you actually can see what the game looks like before you're picking it uh, in extras so, uh, for some games, there's going to be things like manuals, no, none are here at the moment, and things like maps, uh, depending on the game. Uh, any extra kind of bits and pieces going here, you don't really need them for this, but they're just, you know, it's nice to have. So anyway, that's that one done. So let's quickly whiz on, get the other ones done. So Commodore 64, let's extract that again to the ROM folder. And let's see if this one's the same with the retro but RB build. Yeah, looks good. Obviously, as you saw before there, if you do get a, uh, sorry, get a prompt to overwrite anything, just say yes. Yeah, as, as I was saying, sorry, is as, as you saw before, if you do get the password wrong, it will pop up a little window and, and tell you so. So. But well, unfortunately, it does carry on and tries to extract every file. Um, 
before you know, it doesn't just stop and say it's wrong it, just, it does try and carry on so just hit cancel and uh, try again so just let this one finish uh, MSX extract here same password on this one These aren't too big uh, in general. Uh, the thing that does increase the size is obviously things like the uh, uh, the video snaps. I mean, they're not very big. They're you know a few few meg each, but they uh, they do add up. Uh, right, MSX2. Don't need to highlight it. Just extract. Same password. while that's doing so see it's full did and there uh, the MSX one yep one in there this is in the next two this to overwrite anything all good uh, NGPC is the Neo Geo pocket colour portable device at the same location Hopefully, same password. And then just one more to go. Of course, I know this bit is a bit like watching paint dry for those that have done it a few times before, or you know, sort of people that are very, you know, IT literate, computer literate. But obviously, the idea of the videos is to, you know, aim at all skill levels. So, you know, some people are, aren't that comfortable with you know, extracting compressed files and um, exactly where to copy bits and pieces so <clears throat> I like to as I said before <laughs> probably quite a few times I like to do the video in real time and see exactly what I do how I do it and how long it takes and likewise if we get any issues that pop up we can uh, we can fix them as we go so obviously if you're if you're following the video you're gonna have exactly the same setup as I've got here if you followed it from the beginning so everything should be the same I mean, having said that, obviously everyone's got different hardware they run this on, so different graphics card, different different system, you know, system board, configuration, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it might be some people might have issues with certain emulators or certain games that either don't run or don't run very well, or maybe, you know, um, have an error. Um, so in that case, obviously I'll try and help out where I can, obviously put stuff in the comments, but, you know, uh, Retrobat and Batasera both have really good online communities and uh, forums and that kind of stuff so it's you know those kind of errors you, you get sort of beyond adding games and stuff that's probably a good place to head so have a look and ask the question you probably find the question has been asked before if it's a common one so yes but like I say obviously ask um, if you need to in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to answer every single comment which I think touch wood I have done up until now. Um, I think again, as I said before, tracking the comments in uh, in YouTube can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, I kind of get a notification when a new comment pops in, but then if someone if I reply and someone replies again, I don't always see that straight away unless I go through and check. Um, sort of individually, it's, it's quite difficult. So I have got a Facebook group and I've got a, a Discord server up and running. So quite a few members on there now and some good discussions going on so it's, it's probably easy to add, ask a question on there um, if you've got any issues and then you know the other people on there can can help answer as well as well as me so yeah look out for that and obviously there's, there's a discord server um, so I know everyone's too keen on using Facebook they want a, a little, little bit of privacy so you prefer discord so we've got one of those as well
and I think as it stands at the moment, there's actually more more members on Discord than there are on Facebook. So I guess that says something. Of course, so this is doing PlayStation now. Um, there's a, a handful of games. Of course, they're quite big. They're, they're CD based or disc based. So it's going to take a little while. Um, so what I actually do, it says about two minutes remaining. So rather than me waffling on for two minutes, um, I will just quickly pause the video uh, and then this will shoot up. Also, I don't like <laughs> I don't like pausing the video, but in this case, it is just watching that status bar go across and the counter go down. So I'll be back in in a second. Okay, so that's finished. So we can just close this now, and we'll just check that last one. PSX, it's quite big. And there we go. Yeah, so a handful of games in there. I think what roughly ten or more. Um, so yeah, that's everything copied across. Uh, so we can now close this. We can close this. Back to our Batasura machine. It's obviously for me it is here for you. It you know, might be a different physical machine. And as I said before, you might have a single PC, but you run Windows and then you temporarily boot, you know, via USB or whatever. Or you might have a second internal hard drive and you, you know, go into your boot manager each time you boot. Whichever way you do it. <clears throat> um, if you have a single PC, obviously you can't use this method because you can't have Batasura running and Windows running at the same time. Um, so you could have Batasura running and maybe you could use your phone. If you have a File Explorer app on your phone, you could connect to that share, that IP address, and copy ROMs in that way. Or um, if you need to use a PC, I'd, I'd boot to Windows. I think I went through some of my other, other videos as well. Boot into Windows, put a, a, a spare USB stick in, a little USB drive or whatever you might have. Put that into your Windows machine copy some ROMs onto it, obviously take it out again and then boot, reboot the machine, boot it into Batasura, once it's booted up, put that USB stick in, then you hit F1 on the keyboard, which looks like this, or oh, maybe not with that menus up, the menu, yeah, then press F1 and you'll get this, a file explorer, so yeah, you, and then when you, you plug that USB stick in, it'll appear on the left hand side there, um, just about to see, the mouse keeps disappearing. But yeah, so underneath here you'll have a USB drive up here. You basically uh, browse in here, find the ROM you want, select it or highlight it, right click copy, come up here to the ROMs folder, which doesn't work too well. The mouse, but the keyboard does. So again, here, here's all the, uh, here's a folder we see when we access the file share, exactly the same, and then just go into Go into the particular folder and then right click and paste or if you're using the keyboard you can do Alt F or Alt, yeah, Alt F to go up. Alt F to bring up the menu and then use arrow keys to go along the menus and arrow keys to go down and then you'll have copy and paste uh, here and then you can just paste the stuff in. So that's another way to do it if you've got a single PC uh, running back to and once you're finished do Alt F again or if your mouse is probably working okay, mine isn't inside the virtual machine for some reason. So just click on, click on file uh, and then close window and it takes you back to Batasura. Okay, so we've got those new ROMs added, so we can either just restart the machine or we can hit the space bar. Uh, oh, sorry, go down to game settings, update game lists, update yes. And that should give it to rescan. So now we should have got the MSX in there. I should have the others, so Neo Geo Pocket Color, PlayStation is in there, Amstrad CPC. I think with Batasura it actually groups the MSX ones together. So we've got MSX 1 and 2, but they're probably all shown in one list. those ones just come back out of here Neo Geo Poly Color see all the artwork there ready to go uh, PlayStation and again let's launch this one again I, I'm pretty sure all these systems use RetroArch or by default use RetroArch in Batasura, so there shouldn't be any configuration to do. 
Uh, there we go. Medieval's just launching there. We've got the bezel in there already. Let's hit escape. Come back. Um, yeah, so that's, that's again a few more systems added. The list is getting a bit bigger now. Um, yeah, so the plan is then make a new video soon and upload even more, even more games. Um, so let's just while we're here, we'll just check Anshav CBC. You can see all the graphic here. Sorry, all the hot work. Uh, 720, classic game. And there we go, loading up. Custom bezel as well. I'm just gonna escape out of that one. So yes, so that's that's some more systems added. Um, also stay tuned, there'll be another video coming very soon to add some more systems. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, the ch channel channel's growing steadily, so but always helpful if you know any new people or you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Really helps me out, and obviously give the video a like. That helps kind of get up the ratings, I think, within YouTube. Um, so yeah, all good, and uh, catch you on the next one. So thanks a lot. Cheers.